Bank Forth, the radio forum for students. Autumn gives us beautiful colours all around us as trees bear their leaves and fall to the ground. Longer nights, colder temperatures and the odd pumpkin spice latte. Autumn is also the time of year when students all over the country start or return to college and university. For some, it is the start of another year, but for many, it is the start of a brand new experience. So what is it that has made students decide to come here? Why Scotland? Why Stirling? I aim to find out what it is that attracts students here. Scotland has offered a lot to the world. Sport, music, art, innovation, as well as food and drink. And it is this culture that brings thousands of tourists here every year. I asked some current students what they think it is about Scotland and its culture that attracts people here. Stereotypes, I suppose. History and, uh, and buildings. I knew stuff from the media, so all the stereotypes, so basically Scotland's very green, um, it's full of ginger people and it's, it's all about the castles and William Wallace and everything. <laughs> So, um, in terms of the actual culture, I wasn't really made aware of it until I actually came here. So why did they choose to study here? What was it about Stirling and the university that made them want to study here? If I'm completely honest, I chose to come here because it's free tuition for poor students in, within the EU. I wanted to study journalism and I went on Google and I googled the rankings for journalism and Sterling was one of it. I wanted to stay in Scotland as well because I came here before university. So I thought it would be a good idea to just stay here, mostly because of free education, which is a great privilege to have. But I decided to come to Stirling University on the recommendation of my film studies teacher in college. Um, I knew that I always wanted to do film and media and basically he pinpointed Sterling as one of the best, having one of the best communication departments in the UK. So that's why these students come here to study. But what did they know about Sterling before arriving here? I asked them. I was looking at courses in digital media and stuff like that and go up, uh, choosing between Glasgow, Edinburgh and Stirling and I think I read about Stirling was through like a student forum. William Wallace! <laughs> the sports teams were brilliant here. There's a lot to like in Stirling, but what is it that people really like? It's a good sized town, like you can walk around the whole town in a day and uh, good transport links as well. I Actually, I like the people more than anything. Um, I feel like the people were very welcoming here. I like the sort of community feel of Stirling. It's quite a small university in comparison to other ones that I've been to visit. So it sort of feels like, yeah, you are running into the same sort of people, but it is that whole sort of community of people being in the same area as you. What don't you like? There's not that many things going on. Nightlife is alright, but there's not that much to choose from. The weather. The weather's horrible. It's raining like every day. Just the weather, maybe. It's very cold here. Studying away from home can be a strange and difficult experience. I asked how living here differs from living at home. I really miss the, the forests. I went from an insanely busy city to a, a sort of quiet little town. So I feel like that was a major culture shift for me. The universities back home, obviously in Manchester and Liverpool, the campuses are more sort of spread out across the city, whereas Stirling again has that sort of close-knit campus being in one sort of particular area. So it is just a great feeling to be a part of the uni. So we have heard from current students about what attracts them here and the culture that brings people to the country. I've been Martin Curran for Connect Forth. Connect Forth Special.